Hi everybody, it's Adam and we are at the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois. We're answering your questions that were posted at heartvalveblog.com. Very excited to be standing next to Dr. Lars Svensson, who is the director of the Aorta Program and Quality at the Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland, Ohio. And we have a question that came in from Corey, Dr. Svensson, and the question is, why is it that all new transcatheter therapies are only for inoperable patients. Can't we all benefit from them? That's a very good question and uh, obviously we'd love to introduce all new technologies that appear to be working to all patients but the FDA has mandated and rightly so that we test progressively devices in lower risk populations over time. So the first study that came out with the, the percutaneous valves, the uh, partner B, as it's called, was in patients who were inoperable for the traditional surgery. In other words, patients who were being treated. So, in a sense, there was the potential for great benefit in patients who had no other options. Mm. And uh, as far as risk assessment in those patients, one can, in a sense, be a bit more forgiving about the risks in that population because they had no option. Yeah. But as we progressively have looked at lower risk patients, the partner A was the trial that we reported earlier, that was in a high risk population. In the partner B, the inoperable patients, there in a sense the media message was very easy. We improved survival in these patients by two thirds, 67 percent of two years. Fantastic wow. result, really good, no other option, we did a great job. In the partner A, which is the high risk surgical, there we were looking at comparison with open surgery. Mm. So the headline is not so catchy, but really what it is, is that the percutaneous valves were equivalent to open aortic valve replacement as far as survival or dying with the operation, mm -hmm. but a slightly higher risk of neurological events, particularly stroke and TIAs. And the reason why we then cannot open it up in a sense to everybody is first of all we don't know what's going to happen in, the, in a younger population. In a younger population you have the demand on the valve working for a longer time mm. and we know in that population the results with open surgery are really excellent. Mm -hmm. We looked over a seven year period in the 2000s in our patients less than the age of 70 having a first time aortic valve replacement at the Cleveland Clinic and the risk of death was 0.27%. Wow. Now that wasn't just a fluke. Um, looking at all our quality data, obviously, at the clinic, for all patients who had a aortic valve replacement or aortic valve plus coronary artery bypass in the first six months of this year, we did 398 patients with those operations. It was only one death, so 0.25%. <laughs> Three patients had strokes, 1% risk of stroke. So the new technology has had a higher stroke rate and we want to reduce that before we introduce it to younger patients. And I think we're going to do that. The new filtering devices that are becoming available to use together with the percutaneous valves, I think will reduce that risk. So it's a fine balance. The FDA has to look at the risks of the procedure, the devices versus the safety and the benefits. And so the FDA is in a difficult position and rolling out these two technologies to everybody. Got it. Well, Corey, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me learn more about how we're going to eventually be seeing these new technologies roll out in the near future. And I want to acknowledge you, Dr. Svensson, for all the work that you're doing in these new revolutionary technologies, whether it's transcatheter. I know about the recent uh, valve exchange leaflet replacement system you did in Paraguay. And it's really just a testament to what you're doing in your pursuit of healthy hearts. And I know a lot of our patients have come to you and they've had great results. And so I just want to thank you for taking the time to share your expertise with us. My pleasure. Good talking to you.